<laughs> Could probably help if I read. What's up, man? What'd it do? I'm TK. Mike. Do you watch anime at all? What's your favorite character? Goku. Goku. What's the saddest part of anime? When Dry you... got killed by pain? What, what's the most underrated anime? Assassination, Assassination Classroom? Classroom? Dude. Do we just become best friends? I think so. Holy oh, shit. God! When the moon is in the 11th house, this gives someone a soul of belonging. The 11th house in astrology is all about where you belong. It's all about friendships, communities, and as they say, hopes and wishes. The reason why this is connotated with hopes and wishes as opposed to the fifth house, which is your heart's desires, is because when you make the teamwork, you make the dream work. And when you think about your hopes and wishes coming true, it's usually like prayers coming true through other people who carry an essence of your hopes. And as a community, we all come in to the grand wish, as opposed to the fifth house, which is just your own personal heart's wishes. Common misconception, or just something to kind of uh, put into focus. This is what ties in the hopes and wishes element to other groups of people. And as such, when your moon is here, you are keenly receptive to where you belong, other people belong, people, places, and things, nouns, and any concept where it belongs. It's not a strictly only to mean just belonging, but it's a huge tenet and element. This does not make Moon in the 11th house extroverted. It's very common to think that because you would think a house where it's all about other people, right? It's an air house. It's, it's the graduated from the seventh when you get in relationships with people in the seventh house, your partner is gonna have friends. You're gonna have friends. This graduates to the 11th where you create a community. It's very important. People, people forget about the seventh house leading into the 11th. So when your moon is here, you need to be around other people. And this doesn't mean physical people here. You just need to be around others so that they can reflect back you. But not in a seventh house aspect where you're seeing yourself reflected across a partner, but multiple people. That being said, it's a common misconception that that, that means that, that one is extroverted with this. Actually, you might find more introverts with the moon in the 11th house. Moon in the 11th just means that one needs to feel like they belong in an area, in a concept, in a state of mind. This can change depending on what it is, but that's only on the surface. There's a quality of the 11th and 12th house that takes into it every single house before it. And so it's common to see Moon in the 11th house exhibit characteristics of anywhere from house one to 10. But mostly, these people are very gifted when it comes to intuitively feeling where they belong in a certain situation, and especially as it applies to others. Whereas the sun in the 11th will be the hub of their social circle, it's the moon that's secretly going to be pulling the strings. And it doesn't always have to be in a manipulating way unless it's in a sign that, at its worst, is very manipulative, okay? But other than that, uh, there is a receptive quality to the moon where these people don't even have to be conscious of the fact that because of them They're drawing in the right people 
uh, where that belong with them as well. And it plays uh, the opposite in that sense. One very interesting thing about Moon in the 11th is once again, whether they're extroverted or introverted, they're always called to communities and groups to really understand and nurture them. Moon in the 11th house people make excellent sociologists because they can detach from who they are and really feel into the social dynamics that play out around them. And it's difficult because most of these people may not really even be versed in sociology. So it's not really anything usually conventional that lends to this as much as it is their ability to just feel out what's missing in an environment, what it needs, and also the hopes, wishes, and desires of other people based on their intellect. This is where we get to the air sign portion of the 11th. Even though it's not traditionally Aquarius, Moon and 11th people are very smart, but not because they read books all day, because they connect with people a lot and they can really feel into the differences of groups, cultures, and demographics, which only adds a lot to their knowledge of people. But please, this doesn't always apply to just people. This could apply to concepts, mythological beings, fictional characters, which is why I'm saying not all of them are extroverted. You can find many introverts with this position who need to be around people, but people who aren't even real, people who are part of their own imagination. This also will sequentially create a weird sense of causation that is not always that the moon in 11th is not always aware. They may not always be aware that a group was formed because of them. They may not always be aware that the dynamics of a community was changed because of something they did or didn't do. And this is one of the more difficult moon aspects to have before one really steps into their Saturn return and, and becomes more aware of who they are. I noticed you've been hanging out with this more aggressive crowd because they seem to be the father figure that you lacked, but if I'm gonna be honest here, I don't think they really respect you. You should hang out with that other club that invited you out last weekend. They may not seem as cool, but they are definitely respectful of who you are, and I think there's a lot of room for you to flourish. Don't worry, I got you, man. I've been, been peeping game. I know all the different groups in this town, and I know who's who and, and what they really mean and who's about it and who's not, you know. It is what it is. So who's your clique? You're not in the clique. What are you trying to do, stand out? No, you need to fit in. Come on, I'll help you. There's the nerds, there's the jocks. We have the entrepreneurs. We have the athletes, which I guess would count for jocks. We also have the religious folk. If you feel like you're religious, I'll introduce you to them later. I go around all these groups and just gossip and you know get to know who they are before I talk shit about them to other groups. It's so fun. Other than that though, Moon in the 11th is a really dope position. It's really great if you're extroverted, you don't have to be, but it's it's a really great position to put yourself out in the community and see where you fall in compared to other people and help it become more complete. Whereas the Moon in the first house feels only about themselves and how they can be a part of their community, the Moon in the 11th feels about their place with other people as an integrated whole. Similar, but subtly different. Y'all stay blessed, and until next time.